up everybody thank you for coming to another detailing video and today i got the homie what's up guys it's jesus with buji mobile detailing in santa ana today i'm going to show you guys my detailing setup yo jesus i've never seen a setup like this before and is it difficult to work with at times it is because you kind of have to turn into a truck driver since you don't reverse the same way and that's because it's a trailer got it so in this video we're gonna go ask him some questions about why he chose this because you've been in the game for what a year and a half uh yeah a little bit a year and a half around there all right so stay tuned for all this free 99 detailing knowledge you ready Jesus? i'm ready let's go i would let you know what did you start out with first so i literally started out with this bucket right here this pump sprayer and not exactly this vacuum but a battery powered milwaukee vacuum that's portable and it's really tiny uh, a container of rags and then another container to hold all my products this is literally literally what i started off with when i first started detailing got it this little amount of stuff but after a while you realize that you could only go so far without a pressure washer uh, you run out of batteries when you're out there in the field so you got to upgrade to that generator and pressure washer and water tank to deliver the best results possible so is that one of the biggest reasons why you decided to get a trailer because you just needed more yeah exactly um with the rinseless wash method when you don't have high flowing pressure it's really hard to, to get into the cracks and crevices and when the rest of the car is clean you take notice of the areas that aren't clean so that's the reason for the for the pressure washer because that pressure blows out the dirt in those areas so before i had the trailer i work out of my toyota rav4 that pulls the the trailer i put a, a tank in there and a pressure washer set up in there so imagine every time this is my personal vehicle having to take it up and down whenever i have to take the family out and stuff like that it turns into a big headache made me even want to consider quitting detailing because of the headache of having to set up every time having to go refill that little tiny 30 gallon tank every single day which adds up in the gas because imagine me having a detour is let's say the house is on the right of me and the water station is on the left i would have to go to the left first and then go to the right so all that extra time really takes away from from your overall paycheck and when you're in a service business time is money all right and i see you have a trader but why didn't you choose a van? So what I believe, um, uh, as you can see, I started with a very low budget. And I believe keeping your expenses low is what keeps you in a business for a very long time. Low expenses, high revenue. And then that turns out for a great profit to, to ratio, whatever it is, you know, I'm still in, in business school, so I don't really know the proper ratios, what they're called, but yeah, um, you want to keep expenses low and make the most money out of every detail because if you're constantly trying to pay back something You're in that scarcity mindset that sets you back to take those $20 washes those $30 washes Whereas if you know that you don't have to make a, an extra car payment that you have on your personal vehicle on your new detailing van And then on top of that you have to pay your detailing setup That's two that's two payments that you have in your mind when you're thinking about should I take that $20 wash? Whereas, let's say you don't take the $20 wash and someone right after that hits you up for a $200 detail. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to pick and choose what you get to do and you have to have some, you know, self-respect to know your value. Got it, all right, man. Walk me through, let's, right, go, let's, let's go. go check out your trailer. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, first of all, first of all, Where'd you get this awesome trailer at? I got it at the one and only H2O Auto Detail Supply in Covina, California. Amazing work. I love them because every other detail supply store told me it wasn't possible to make my trailer like this and they made it happen. So I'm really happy with, with uh, the, the trailer that I received. I use it every day and I can totally tell the difference when I'm working. And just so you guys know, we're right here at H2O headquarters in Covina, California. You need a van set up, you need products, go show them some love. I mean, we could kind of see it, but walk me through your setup. What's the first equipment you want to show me? All right, so first we have the 100 gallon water tank. This allows me to not have to refill um, every single day like I used to before. As you can see, 30 is all the way down here. So that's how much I would waste every day. Now I'm at 100, so I don't have to go as often. Then we're going to go over to my air compressor. Uh, when dealing with air compressors, you want to have it around 
at least bigger than 4 C CFM to make sure you could run things like a Tornador uh, without a problem. This is a really good air compressor that I got here at H2O that came through. Then I just, you know, I just put this in yesterday. It's a bottle hold holder, but I have it held up with zip ties, you know, because I didn't have screws. But right here I have the chemicals that I use the most right here so it's easy access so I'm not running back and forth to the trunk of my car even though it's not far from me then we're gonna come over right here and I didn't get this this um, reel from H2O Auto Detail Supplies so when I'm driving if I don't have this on here the hose will go everywhere so that's why you got to make sure you pick the right detail supply store that has things where it has the automatic catch so you don't have to Mickey Mouse stuff like this uh, we have the 50 foot hose reel and this is actually the first pressure washer that I started out with, the Ryobi 1600 PSI. People say that when you're doing multiple cars, this will give out on you, but it's lasted with me for about eight months so far. So I'm really happy with it. We have the Husky 50 foot hose reel connected to the air compressor. And then another main thing that I wanted when I got a new setup, three main things actually, bigger water tank, uh, air compressor, and a bigger generator to make sure that I could run multiple things at once. So we have the Champion 4250. Um, it's a little bit loud, louder than my Predator 2000, but it gets the job done and I'm really happy with it. And right here, the hose reel, uh, 50 foot of the Husky, retractable. And if you have a setup, highly recommend hose reels as the pickup and um, setup time, it gets cut in half. It's like, you're not even getting tired. For the most part, when I started, um, like I said, I worked out of my trunk of my car. So I would have to pick up and set up every single time. Now I just pull this and it retracts by itself. So it's a huge difference. Got it, man. And you pull this using what vehicle? I have a Toyota RAV4. It's parked out there. Um, I couldn't back it in because it's a tight area. So those are the limitations that you have with the trailer sometimes. Um, if you're not extremely skilled with uh, backing in trailers, it gets tricky sometimes, but you do have the ability to be able to drop it down on that little wheel and move it in and then go park somewhere else. For people that don't know, what is one of the struggles you have with this trailer? Is it just the backing up or? Another struggle is if you're used to driving around like I used to in just my car with the things in my trunk, it was very quiet. So when actually the first time I got this trailer, I didn't set it up properly. And while I went over a bump, it unhooked and it smashed onto the floor. And then- On the street? On the streets, yeah. on, on the main street of Santa Ana, Bristol. So I was literally dragging it on the floor for like two feet. And I heard the noise and I got scared. And I automatically hit the hazards, got out. Luckily, there were some nice people around that helped me lift it back up onto the, the tow hitch. But you definitely want to make sure you put it on there properly. But ever since that day, I'm always looking in my rear view mirror to make sure it's hooked on. <laughs> I have PTSD. Every time I hear a loud noise going over a bump, I slow down to turtle speed to make sure it goes nice and smooth. But besides that, that's probably user error. But um, I like a trailer. Another thing is that it's open. So when it rains, um, I have to push it under my patio instead of just leaving it in the driveway, which I usually do, which is extra steps. and. Instead of taking up one parking spot, when you go to you know anywhere that's um, public, you're taking up three parking spots. So it's kind of just juggling around, fitting into areas. Either way, in California, parking is an issue. So with the, tra with the trailer, it's even harder. What are some benefits of a trailer? Some benefits of a trailer is if you don't want to spend money to get a van, um, a trailer, this trailer, um, all equipped with all of this stuff, besides the pressure washer that I put my own, it came out to, I believe, like 3,800. Um, it's not as expensive as getting a van and a full setup. So it's relatively, you could get a really good setup on reels and all of that action for around that price. It could go higher depending on what you want. And you don't have to, if you're operating out of your car, it's a good step forward to get more, separate your, your business life from your personal life and not have to go through the struggle of uh, setting up your car, taking it down. So if you're barely starting in the detailing business, there's a good route to go so that, you know, you're not struggling so much. Got you. Hey, what, what if you're out with a client and then uh, it starts raining? 
Has that ever happened to you or sprinkling? Luckily in California, um, it usually never rains and I always check the weather in advance. But if I see that it's a little bit cloudy, um, I'll just take my tarp with me and some tape. And if it starts raining, I'll just throw the tarp over and tape it down and you know, go as fast as possible home. And so, you know, hopefully nothing gets wet. Yeah. But that's the only downside with it being open, yeah. Got you. And what about your chemicals? I, I don't see no polish, I don't see no bottles. Well, I saw some bottles. You know, where do you keep the rest of your stuff? So um, that's also the thing about the trailer. Depending on what you want, I opted out for a bigger water tank just because I didn't want to make those drives to um, the water fill up place so often. But they have an option where it could put on a storage box on there. So you get a 50 gallon tank instead of a instead of a hundred, but you have a storage where you can put all your polishers and it has a lock on there too. So no, no one's going to be stealing your stuff. So, you know, there's different options that you could have. If you have a high quality detail shop like H2O, they can make it happen, whatever you want. You can have storage on there. You could not have storage like I didn't want because I could just throw it in the back of my trunk. And yeah, so there's different options depending on what you want. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, so this usually has a handle, but it broke. So you gotta do what you gotta do. So this keeps it from um, latching when you're driving. Mm -hmm. Spin these around. Angle it towards there. So you want it just when it's barely over. Just a little, bit, a little bit more. Then you lower it onto there. When it, when you feel it like it's, like it's driving something onto there, that's how you know you put it on correctly. Because when it fell off, it felt like really easy to put down. Oh. So now I know that that's how you know. And you put the little thing down. You strap it in. So now it's not coming off. You connect these so you have lights for like the blinkers and stuff. So these are, are when I fell off, this is what kept it from, oh. from, you know, getting away from the car or like staying in one in one place. And then you just keep it going down. Like that. And there you have it. That's my detailing setup. Drop it down below what you think of it, what I could change and drop down what's your detailing setup. I would like to know as well. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more detailing content, don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. There you go. Good job, bro. Nice. Boom, there you go.